euro index and the euro dollar. Guys, uh, the US dollar, I mean, this is the US dollar, this is what we're going to start. The way we see it is A and B and a C way high that is going to complete a wave B or wave 4 in the case of the euro dollar, wave B in the case of the euro, and then it's going to trade lower. Now, how, why we can, why we say that? I, and I, I mean, if we take a look at, and uh, we'll take it times back around, we'll say at the beginning of May, we remember this move, one, two, three, four, five, remember? It's pretty sharp. We are calling the bottom of the dollar. Now, right here, we were expecting a three way back that never happened, and they kept going higher until it did these things right here. Now, we, we can count it two ways. Let's start with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, right here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. If this is an eleven way, then this is corrected. This bullish the dollar. In other words, the dollar is going to be weak. Now, another way to count it is like one, two, three, four. Five. This is A, and then we got. A, B, C, and then we got three more ways higher to complete wave A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's another way to count it as a modest way. But if this is a modest way, then we got three, but this is a three. So I would rather go with a three bags and now we need another 11 ways in this day like it goes like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven now the still chance i will say is now the still chance that this is wave one and this is wave two and then that this move right here looks very corrective. In other words, that move right that move right there looks overlapping, things like that. So I would rather go with one, two, three, four, five. This is A, and then you got A, B, C, and then you possibly have another three-way high here when because if you count it correctly, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. When this can be like A, B, C, W, S, A, B, C, Y, S, A, B, C, and this become W. Now, this was most modest, more vertical, more imports right here this is taking longer but at the end of the day you got a b c w which this w is nothing more than this w you got three bags right here and now you can go a b c w less a degree three back and going higher to around 78 now feeble wise the u.s dollar this is the 76 dot 76 by the dock right there then this right here is another 76 O is 618 by the dock so I'm expecting this leg to go higher I'm expecting equal legs right here to go higher to around 70, 77 area the same right here when he can go as high a little bit higher of high of the 77 is a right 77 or 5 area that's what we are spreading I mean you cannot I mean you have to be I don't know super creative to count this bullish for the dollar to be honest with you guys I mean I don't say no in any way everything is possible I always, I always say that that the nearly way everything is possible but 
from here you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven wave. You got this big correction. You got this three way move right here. You got this one, it looks like a five. Even if you count it as a three, you can count it A, B, C, W, and then another A, B, C higher to 77. So I want. I challenge someone to send me an account calling this to be a bullish dollar account because it's very compressed unless you count it as a triangle, bullish triangle. But triangles cannot be wave two. So technically it's gonna be the same scenario with the same result at the end. That that's for the dollar index. Now let's take a look at the Euro index. First, let's start with the Euro index in the four hour. This right here, this low right here is 139.70. This high right here is 146.97. This low right here is 147.70. This is 144.45. So, what the Euro did from 144, while the index, this is the Euro index, even though it looks very similar. What the Euro index did for one f from this level was a clear three ways. It did three backs, it did three lowers, and then what? It break about this level. That means that this is a three ways and this is another three ways. Which means that this thing is going to trade lower. The Euro index is going to trade lower either for the current level or the euro index let me take these fibers right here so you guys got a better a better view when I'm trying to spread fever wise with the dollar with the euro index alright two equal legs now you have to trace a fever here in the euro index you gotta trace the fever And then this one was the 618 and it's pretty impossible 11, 11170 to be the end of this move. This can be a B wave flat when you got three out, three down, and five wave move. This looks very completed already. That's in the short picture of the of the Euro index. Now if we take it on the daily send a scenario, you can call it as an A here three back and now the beginning of the decline or even can go to this area and trade lower but at the end of the day the euro, the euro index is gonna break this level which is around 114.29 now let's take a look at the weekly euro index and you guys gonna understand something okay and the, let me take let me take that fever out Let me tell you a few. Well, okay, this is 151 in the euro, 118 in the euro, 143 in the euro, something like that. All right, 149 in the euro. What you got from here is all you care. What you have, A, B, C. You got. You got three wakes, as clear as the water. You got three wakes back. Now what you need, you need another three ways higher to complete a retracement. This high right here is the 618 right here by the dot. Look, that's the 618. Now, what I like is, remember this is 149. I, let's say that we got the count when we got right here three ways right here three way backs and then what I like is the dollar index I'm sorry the euro index to trade lower to around this level and from here trade around the 76 4% 
this is 149 this should be 153 in the euro now let's take a feeble right here the low right here is the 50 percent retracement so that's telling me something but let's say that this is a five-way move and we say this is one this is two and it's gonna go higher uh -uh, I don't think so why because this candle last week create a corrective candle which need more to the downside before going higher that's why I still like the euro dollar to go to 138 139 area before jumping higher this is why I don't like the trade of the and the triangle in the euro dollar this is the reason guys one of them this is one of the reasons that I don't like the triangle in the euro dollar is because I believe that at the end of the day the euro index is going to trade lower it's going to trade the euro to 137 139 area before the euro is going to go higher remember this is 139 so it should need to trade below 139 area all right now let's take a look at the euro dollar and correlate it with all these moves okay guys this is the euro dollar the euro dollar technically the same this is the euro index and when from here the euro index did three ways down from here the euro index did three ways out from here the euro index did three ways down so technically is the same structure now what is the difference that the euro index already broke outside this level which is the euro index already broke outside this level right here meaning meaning that the euro index is in this stage now the euro dollar it looks like a complete five wave or 13 wave right here if we make a corrective move to the downside and another high that's gonna take 144.42 probably tomorrow and then it's gonna drop that's how the euro index that like the euro dollar is most likely to be performing now it's then a b and c to around the equal legs which is around 137.91 area i don't know what the news is going to be tomorrow to be honest with you i don't know but according to the charge i don't see the euro dollar for any reason breaking 149 before breaking this level why because you have three way down three way higher three way down this cannot go higher that's what it means it cannot go high unless this is a super corrective move and then it's gonna go higher but it will not break 149 that's that's the whole point guys so what I spread thing is either this is an area taking place or this is an area taking place in other words I see the euro dropping from current levels to 139 or I see the euro dropping from around 145.50 to 139 I don't like that triangle the triangle is not supported either by the US dollar index or the euro index but either it but neither one of them the triangle scenario is supported that's why I like this two a scenario as primary because I believe that this goes better with the whole overall market structure all right guys leave it there any question please email us or twitter or skype and we're gonna answer any question thank you guys